Hi, it's a lipstick gal. Thank you so much for watching today. I wanted to do a short video showing you some new lippies that I picked up because I couldn't help myself. Okay, first one here is this. This is the Ordinary Squalane and Amino Acid Lip Balm. It's, it's in this really interesting plastic squeezy tube. It does have a slant tip applicator and you need the smallest amount. I picked this up yesterday. So I wore it all day yesterday and then I wore it last night. And guess who went to bed with a thin-ish layer of this on and woke up with the softest lips ever? I was really surprised. This has more of a silicone-y slip to it. It's very lightweight, very, very lightweight. What I like about this is that once you get it kind of applied to the lips and distributed, there is a, a subtle, subtle shine. It is so thin, so thin, but it does have almost a, it has a very silicone-y feel to it, but that silicone is not heavy and grippy. It's very slick, almost, it almost feels like there's an oil on your lips, but there is not. I don't know what is in this, but I like it so much. You're getting 15 mils, which is a half an ounce, which I think is a really great thing. And it's really easy to use because it's like kind of like a little squishy situation here. I don't know, I really like this. And this is 950. So if you happen to see this at your Ulta or you see it online somewhere, it's worth it, in my opinion. Um, but I've had it for like maybe 24 hours, but my lips are so much softer than they normally are. And this worked really well overnight. Now, it's not the dead of winter, but for July, this has been great. I did purchase four new balm lipsticks, or maybe they're lip balms. Anyway, they're kind of more expensive, um, definitely higher end sort of products. The first one I'm gonna start with here is this. This is the Clarins Lip Oil Balm. And this is a product, I've used it for like a day or two, but it is super sheer. Like that's two swipes. <laughs> it's so sheer, so sheer. This is the shade Almond. This is shade number four. This comes in a lot of shades, and I kind of think that maybe I should have gotten a deeper shade. I was worried that this would have more pigment to it because on the models on the Clarins website, it looked like there was more color on their lips. Maybe they have more natural lip pigment without something on it, and then when they add this over the top, it looks like it's more, but like hardly visible. Now, this feels really good on the lips. I do like that. It does have kind of like a cloyingly sweet smell, I don't know that I really like the scent of it. Packaging is all right, it's a snap closure. It's got kind of like this little acrylic lid here. I feel like, you know, overall it's okay. I sometimes struggle with clear packaging on the top because if I ever, especially with something that's soft like this, get product in here and as I'm putting it in, I get it on the inside. Then I'm the one who takes like a wet wipe or I take a Q-tip and I'm like, that's just one of my OCD sorts of things that bothers me. But um, I feel like overall packaging's okay. This was, I was expecting this to be the same sort of obsession that I have with the Clarins lip oil. I have the lip oil in chocolate. Love the lip oil in chocolate. I don't feel like this is terribly long lasting on the lips. I'm getting less than an hour's wear out of it. But because it's so easy, like stupid easy to apply and I don't need a mirror for it because it hardly has any color. This is the one out of all the other ones that I purchased that I was like, oh, and it's not so much the formula. I think it's just the shade because I, I wanted a little bit more than this. And if I try and build it up, let's see how dark we can get it. This is like 10 or more passes. So it's, it, I think this is one of those shades. If you have really pigmented lips and you want just a little bit of shine and hydration, you would like this shade in Almond, it's 04. But if you want something a little bit more, you may wanna go for one of the other shades. I did end up getting a sample and I'm like, let's just try it on. It's right here and this is the shade Cherry. Oh, I'm so excited about this shade. This looks like my shade. Here is Cherry, it's still just as like sheer as the other one. I use uh, BK and Nikki LaRose N12. This is supposed to be for smudging like lower lash line or packing color on, but I was like, it was the best thing I could think of because I don't have any actual like lip brushes handy. I'd have to dig for it and I don't know where I left it. I do like this Cherry shade better on me. 
the one thing that I've noticed is I don't think either one of these have a pH adjuster in them. Some of the lip oils have pH adjusters and some do not. And I think a lot of it would just come down to, I know Pattaya does. I think some of the other kind of like really soft pink ones do have that pH adjusting ingredient, but it doesn't appear that either of these do. They are still very much the color that they went on like, and this isn't turning hot pink, which leads me to believe that I would probably get more use out of the cherry, even though it's still just kind of like a just barely, but it feels really good on the lips. Um, but this is definitely one of those that is for the person who likes the least possible amount of color. The next one I have for you is the brand new one from Lancome. This is in the shade Lisa's Coral Glow. This is shade number 30. Let's start with the swatch. This is two passes. It's definitely much more pigmented than the ones from Clarins, but this has a little bit heavier of a feel to it. Here's something that I do not love about the package. So if you take it out, you'll notice that there are these two notches right here, and they fit into these two notches right here on the packaging. And it very much is reminiscent of L'Oreal packaging. And I know L'Oreal is the parent company of Lancome, but I've never liked that about L'Oreal lipsticks. You kind of have to line them up to get the cap back on. Same here. Now, here's something that's different. I've noticed for decades, I have been a Lancome fan and have had a lot of Lancome lipsticks. For the longest time, it was the only lipstick I was buying and I had like 30 or 40 Lancome lipsticks. They all had a very distinctive scent. And I know that it's still in their drama mats and in their Labsolu Rouge uh, satins and balms and things like that. But this, this does not. This has a very subtle vanilla scent to it very lightly sweet, like I'm sticking my nose straight in it and I'm not really smelling it that much, but I did smell it as I was applying it. I like this formula. Um, I think that because it is a little bit more pigmented, it wears still like a lip balm because it looks very balmy on the lips. It has a little bit more cush and a little bit more, it's not tacky, but it, it, it feels like there's some plushness to it, if that makes sense. Um, but the other thing that I have noticed about this, because I've been wearing this for a couple of days, is that especially right here, after about an hour, it slides out into those fine lines. This is one that works best for me when I'm wearing a lip liner, but keep in mind that my lips are 49 years old. <laughs> And I definitely am losing volume and collagen in my lips. But if you have a similar concern, you could pair this with a lip liner and you'd be great. But if you're looking for a one and done, like just throw something on and you have that concern, I maybe wouldn't pick this. I feel like the one from Clarins is so sheer, like you, it does the same thing, but you almost can't see it. But this one here, because we do have more pigment, but I really, I like this formula. This formula feels like it's a hybrid between a balm and a lipstick. Um, I do like the look of the packaging, the fact that this is one where I don't mind the clear of it because it looks so pretty, but I don't like the fact that I did actually have to take like a little Q-tip and you'll see there's something on here and I'm just like, clean it up before you show it. But that's just my personal issue. <laughs> But this is nice. I just don't like the way that we have to line these little guys up here with the packaging to get it on because if not, it doesn't go on until you kind of make sure that they're interlocking. The next one I have for you is from Bare Minerals. This is the Mineralist Dewy Lip Gloss Balm and this is the shade Affection. So as you can see here with Affection, we're definitely getting less pigment. It's very similar in like the translucency to the ones from Clarins, but this has more of a thicker balm feel to it. I notice that when I wear this, first of all, it, it looks like just a little bit more than my natural lip. So it's my natural lip hydrated. It's just slightly peachy, but it's not so much color that it looks to, you know, like 1980s Florida peach. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but this has definitely got some peach to it, but there is that, that touch of pink in there, and I thought it would be way more pigmented, but I am very pleased to find that, you know, it is slightly buildable, but only to a point. And this is what we're left with. This is the most affordable out of all the four that I have here, and this is the one that kind of surprised me the most because I was expecting this, and I'm getting this. 
and it has a little bit more of a grip to the skin. It's not quite as glossy and as sheer and as like spreadable as the other ones. This one, all four of these, I'll tell you, do end up outside my vermilion border. I, I have those 49 year old line lips. Okay. Beyond that though, this is the one that kind of goes outside the least. The one that I notice outside the most is probably the last one, but it's also a more pigmented balm. This is really nice. If you want something that's super easy and you're not a lipstick person, I feel like these are reasonably priced for what they are. And this shade in Affection is really quite lovely. I was sure I was not gonna pick this up and I picked it up on a whim. I was like, let's just find out. This is new from YSL. This is the Love Shine Candy Glow Butter Balm. Okay, we've got the Love Shine. We've got the candy part. I'm like, uh, wait, what? And it's the Candy Glow instead of the candy glaze and the, there's the love shine. I feel like with the renaming here has gone awry <laughs> and out of all the other formulas, the silver with the hot pink here is the candy glaze. The silver with the pale pink is the candy, is the love shine. And this one here, it's hard to see it on camera, but you'll notice they're not the same shade of silver because the new one that is the love shine candy glow butter balm, this one here is like a pale metallic pink with a soft baby pink center to it here. The pale pink metallic packaging for this really does help me in my collection go, oh yeah, you're the butter balm. This is the shade 6B. This is the shade brown nude. Here is the YSL. This is like three passes of it. It's still not quite as pigmented as the one from Lancome, but you see that the Clarins ones, as well as the one from Bare Minerals, really are the ones that are the sheerest, but the Lancome one and the YSL Candy Glow Butter Balm are definitely more pigmented. Now, this you can build up. This has a little bit more of a, and I wouldn't say tacky or sticky, but you can feel it on the lips. I know that sometimes when you say you can feel it on the lips, it sounds bad. It doesn't feel bad to me. I don't like a heavy, weighty kind of, uh, I don't like that on my lips. This is not that way, but compared to the rest of them, like I can hardly feel the one from Clarins. I can hardly feel this one. Um, I definitely feel like this has more of a, a presence. It does also have that YSL lipstick smell. I don't know if it's like some sort of a fruit. Uh, I've heard people call it like a sweet mango. I don't know that I'm I may, maybe, maybe like, but maybe like a candy mango. <laughs> candy glaze is the one that is the shiniest, the most opaque and the most like, whoa, I feel that on my lips. Next one down is the love shine. And these ones here definitely for me are very reminiscent. If you've ever tried one of the Rouge Volupte shines, this is like it's little kid sister in new packaging. Cause I feel like the formula is so close. If they change the formulation, I can't tell by the way that it wears. I can't tell by anything more than the packaging is different and the shades on offer are different. Some of them are the same, but not all of them. But um, this Candy Glow Butter Balm is different because it feels more balmy, not in a bad way, but it also has a pH adjuster in there. And I don't, I don't see any major hot pinkness going around, which is why I was like, I'm not gonna get this. I hate pH adjusting things. But I was like, oh, please, 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 please don't turn hot pink. And I, I find that these don't. If there's any residual staining when I take it off, it is so minimal, I don't even notice it. And this is one that I can put on without any sort of mirror. I mean, I use a mirror frequently, but I don't have to have a mirror. I love that about this. I feel like the candy glaze is one of those that she needs a mirror or you could end up with like a situation on your hands. But these two, I like that both of these formulas don't necessitate me pulling out like the mirror from my purse or flipping down the visor or applying this, you know, in front of a mirror here in the house or pulling out my phone. They're very easy to wear, but they do have that mango scent. I feel like these are all very interesting, but very different. And you know, the ones from Clarins are for the person who wants some glow and some shine without looking like lipstick. I feel that um, the ones from Bare Minerals kind of fall in that same place. But if you want a hint of color, but not too much, you might like the ones from Lancome or these new Candy Glow Butter Balms from YSL. The most expensive one, of course, is YSL. The least expensive one is this one here from Bare Minerals, but they start in the 20s and they end in the 40s. I'm not mad that I got these. Now, the reason that I got all of these, um, 
this was just because I saw it and I was like, ooh, let's try it. But the four balms here that I'm trying that have a color and a tint to them is because my goal is sometime in the next week, week and a half to do kind of like a roundup of all of my glowy, glossy, balmy types of lip products. So ones that are a little bit more affordable all the way to like the really bougie expensive ones. And at that point, I'll just be able to tell you, here's what's different about them. Here's what I like about it. And here's what doesn't work. I will tell you that all four of these do best for me when I wear them with a lip liner, but for the sheer ones like the Bare Minerals and the ones from Clarins, I don't worry about it too much, but this one here is really pretty, but I already see it kind of moving out of my lip line here a little bit and a little bit on the edge. So if I'm really trying to be persnickety, if it's just me around the house, I don't care. But if I'm going out and I'm doing something, even if it's something as simple as grocery shopping or getting gas, your girl's going to pull out a lip liner. I am that person. <laughs> I know it's silly, but that's just who I am. Okay, thanks so much for watching today. Here's what I wanna know. Now that it's summer and now that it's hot and we're dealing with kind of like, we're worried about our face melting off, we're wanting to keep our lips hydrated but not look like we're wearing too much makeup. Are you going for products like this that are sheer, that are lightweight, that are kind of like a tinted balm? Or are you still firmly in lipstick territory? You know, like I want full pigment. I want it to look like I'm wearing something and I want it to be like this bright, bold color. Tell me what your preferences are for lip products or do you go more the gloss and the lip oil route in the summer? Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your answer in the comment section down below. I'm gonna have all of these linked as well as what else I have on my face. Those will be affiliate links in the description box, but that's where you'll find it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.